Hello everyone, uh, my name is Shekhar. Uh, there has been a lot of question about uh, freelancing. Uh, these days, you know, you know, the European country has moved to 30% of freelancing job rather than the regular job. And I often get the question uh, from my colleagues and friends whether freelancing job are real or not. Uh, if as an individual uh, you are looking to go into the freelancing job, you are always you look, always have that question uh, whether I can find a real job or not, whether I can get payment or not. So today I thought about making a video where uh, I can guide you with some steps whether how can you get uh, you know payment, what are all portal that you can use, what are all things that you need to do in order to be successful. So let's uh, get started with the process. So I have been uh, doing freelancing uh, for quite a while now. And I'm going to explain you uh, my journey with freelancing and uh, my experience in freelancing. So uh, I joined Work, one of the leading or you can say the number one at this point. There's a freelancing portal where I can, uh, I do uh, my job and uh, I'm maintaining a quite a good job success right, at Upwork. Recently also I joined uh, with Fever. Uh, this is March 2019 and since uh, then it has been a quite a good uh, number of feedback and job that I have received. Uh, the obvious question people ask is freelancing fake or real? Now, uh, you need to understand one thing here. Uh, there can't be a fake thing unless there is a real thing. So, it's just opposite uh, of the same thing. So, imagine a product which you call duplicate. Now, duplicate products are made only for those products in the market in on demand. If there is no product on demand in the market, nobody will uh, you know, try and make a duplicate copy of that. So that, that's it. Uh, you just need to identify a correct platform where you can uh, find a true job and uh, true earning. For me, the best way or the easiest way to identify whether the job is fake or real is uh, just uh, looking at their registration and work structure. Uh, no genuine company would ask for a payment upfront from you for, as a registration fee. Uh, they will uh, charge a commission only when you start earning uh, from their portal. So uh, for me, that's that's the easiest way by which you can identify whether that platform or the job is fake or real. There are uh, quite a few uh, portals who are genuine. Uh, in terms of freelancing and uh, there are lots of portal as well uh, who promises job and does not pay you so you just need to make sure that you have uh, chosen the right platform to earn money okay now let's look a uh, few top freelancing platform uh, these days I would always rate Upwork to be number one I have been working in Upwork since 2015 and uh, there never has been an issue with payment or anything as such. Uh, Upwork I believe is the only one portal where you can get uh, all kinds of job. Uh, when I say all kinds uh, it means all kind of job uh, itself. So you can uh, go as a virtual assistant, administrative staff, you can uh, work as a software developer you can uh, do as a visualization expert uh, which is my area of course uh, the only uh, um, disadvantage for Upwork is the profile approval these days there is so many people who applies in Upwork uh, that's that's why the team has restricted the user registration so if you're creating a profile it takes time and multiple time you have to review your profile and then submit before it gets approved and uh, you start earning. Uh, yes, so uh, the other disadvantage of Upwork is the charges of uh, 20% uh, commission fee or service fee. 
So whatever you are earning, 20% will be deducted uh, from that earning. Second, uh, I also work with Fever as well. Uh, the kind of clients I get here, uh, you know, is pretty economical and not very high paying jobs that I see. But I guess uh, due time, uh, I will be able to find that uh, high paying job as well. Uh, Fever is good uh, because it does not require any approval uh, for your profile. You can uh, easily create your profile and uh, start working. Uh, but of course, you have to be patient enough to find the right job and find the right client. Another one is TopTal. TopTal is definitely high paying uh, freelancing portal. Uh, the only challenge is you really need to be among the top 30% in the world uh, for that skill set to be able to uh, get a profile uploaded there. As soon as you create your profile, there will be certain interview conducted uh, by specialist. You need to crack through all those uh, interview process and certification process before you can get your profile uploaded. But uh, if you truly think you are master at something, you can definitely uh, try and register at uh, top 10. If you get hired uh, as a freelancer or if you get your profile approved in uh, top 10, uh, then this can be a very huge earning for you. Another most popular is uh, freelancer.com. I personally do not use it, but there are lots of lots of people who has been working in freelancer.com. So that's one of the genuine portal as well. 99 design is also leading a freelancing portal. Uh, 99 design only provides you a work related to design, template, flyers, banners, uh, website designing and uh, similar to this, uh, this stuff. So there is not much of variety uh, available in uh, 99 design, but I am sure due time uh, they will avail more work as well. So those are the top five freelancing platform that I know about. There are lots of other freelancing portals as well you may wish to research in that and probably i will be able to share another video on uh, those top uh, freelancing portals now uh, look at, uh, let's look at the uh, you know the bright picture that we have we always think of in a freelancing job uh, and i guess a lot of people are illusion uh, about uh, the freelancing job it's not actually true so in my experience what are the true reality and uh, what are the uh, illusion factor involved in freelancing uh, let's look at them one by one but people always say that that's the best thing or the key highlight wherever uh, anyone is promoting freelancing job is be your own boss now that's uh, never going to happen you can definitely choose your clients or boss that you want to work for but you will never be your boss uh, your client will always remain to be your boss and you have to work uh, in sync with their terms and condition uh, their timing and everything but of course once you become a highly rated freelancer and you stable your career as a freelancer then you have plenty of opportunity to choose from and work as per your availability. But by all means, whenever you sign up for any job, uh, you still need to abide by your uh, client's requirement and not on your terms. Oh, another illusion, uh, become rich and successful overnight. Now that never happens. Uh, you really need to be patient enough to get to stage where you can earn it. So, uh, jo doing a job in freelance market is an ultimate test of your skill and your patience. So, you have to apply for a job. You will probably get uh, rejected more often than not. And uh, 
then only you can get a job. You need to understand if there is a job posted in freelancing portal. Uh, not only you, there are hundreds of people who are applying for that job and uh, there is only one person who will get hired. So competition is pretty tough. It all depends on your previous work and portfolio, the experience that you have created, the feedback that you have received, the rating that you have received from your previous clients. It does matter a lot. So uh, you really need to be patient and see uh, how you can get a job. Uh, it never happens that quickly. You can relax. Yes, uh, people think you can just uh, relax and chill out in room and uh, outside and do a little bit of work. Uh, that's an illusion too as well for me. Uh, because whenever you are working uh, at a high risk uh, terms such as in freelancing where there is no assurity of getting the next job uh, you don't have an excuse of uh, not completing a job you always have to to complete your job that you have assigned for so when you have that uh, risk factor in your mind you can never relax and even if you are working from home uh, there is no guarantee there will not be any destruction uh, obviously in home there will be people coming to see you there will be some certain destruction involved uh, in the room so you can't actually relax it's basically and harder than a regular job because in a regular job you have uh, plenty of time even if you don't perform at one or two job or one or two project your company still might give you some uh, opportunity or relaxation for time for you to improve but in freelancing there is no scope of improvement you have to do the job right at the first time so uh, there is a risk involved and it's a hard job as well okay then who should do freelancing now that that's uh, that's a very important part because uh, of your skill set because of your attitude you need to decide whether uh, you should be doing freelancing job or not uh, if you are uh, best at anything uh, and you can uh, you have the ch uh, courage to challenge others on that same field then you should uh, look for a freelancing job because that's going to give you an high payment if you're passionate about some professional skill if you truly think that you can make a difference with a particular skill set then you should look for a you know freelancing job if your skill is not valued in your local or current industry so you are already doing a job and uh, if you find that there are certain skill set that you have and you like to perform on those skill set but your current organization or current industry does not have that much of scope uh, for that particular skill set to be shown or enhanced uh, you can look for a freelancing because there will be definite job for that skill set out there if you are innovative in nature so if, if you think uh, uh, you can make some difference you can uh, always get out of the box and create some innovative way to showcase your talent then freelancing is the right uh, choice for you if you're more of an individual contributor uh, than a team player I know you will require team playing or you know, team bonding as well in freelancing but that's very less more often than not you will be working as an individual contributor so if you think you could not uh, fit into a team role environment uh, then you should look for a freelancing job because you don't need to wait for others performance you can simply put in your effort and uh, get the recognition out of there so if you truly believe you are comfortable working in a, as an uh, individual contributor you should definitely look for a freelancing job than a uh, regular organization okay if you want to create your own job role now that's that's very tricky uh, let me explain that to you 
So if you have a skill set and you don't see any company or you are unable to identify a company where you can showcase your skill, then obviously you can try your luck on freelancing. You can think of an innovative job, you can uh, create your own business through freelancing market. So those are uh, some of the key requirements before you decide that you should be working for a freelancing site. Okay, how you can become successful as a freelancer? Uh, a lot of people, you know, start freelancing career. They have a great potential, but unfortunately, they don't uh, comply with some of the basic requirement that freelancing have. That's why they always fail to succeed in freelancing. So, uh, first, you need to be sure of your area of expertise. Uh, if you're just a learner or beginner of any skill, uh, then that's not the field that you choose as a freelancing. Because like I mentioned, in any freelancing job, you have to do the job rightly at the first go. So that means you have to have certain level of expertise for that skill set. Uh, but of course, you will not know everything about that skill set, but you must be above the basic level. Uh, then you can uh, you know keep on moving and learning for making sure that you have the right expertise for those key skill sets. Must be an effective communicator. You must communicate uh, to your communi uh, clients uh, effectively. It doesn't mean that you have to have a very good uh, communication skill or uh, you know English speaking. Uh, you can write things or more often than not you will communicate via email or chat but effective communication means you keep them always posted you set right expectation uh, that we are covering uh, in. okay always uh, be honest with your clients uh, never set incorrect expectation that you will do the job within next 24 hours and you can't deliver uh, you pick up a job where you can't deliver uh, the requirement and you still say okay I will do that job and then you look around for other people to do that job and uh, you know learn that job before you complete so uh, be always be honest with your client uh, with your requirement limitation and your uh, area of expertise set clear and reasonable expect uh, expectation with client you should uh, you know quote uh, the budget the uh, um, time to complete uh, the job uh, to the client that always have to be set or clear before you take that job with the client if client agrees then only you should approach uh, there is nothing going to happen after the job has been taken once the job has been uh, assigned to you thereafter you will need to complete the task with the time the client has agreed and within the payment that the client has agreed so no changes happen after you get the job all the expectation needs to be set prior if you are assigned to the job keep your client posted uh, about every step and status uh, even if it's a very smaller one yeah that's something always uh, freelancer fails to do if you have taken a job or uh, you have quoted a time of seven days, you still need to keep your client posted about the status because otherwise client will be anxious and they will be unsure whether the job are in progress or not. That's why it's very important that you keep them posted about the status, uh, how much you have completed. Even if you have just started, you can still uh, confirm that I yes, I uh, started the work and this is the status and this is how much I will be able to beat by next four hour or six hour, uh, things like that. Uh, otherwise, your client will lose faith in you and they start to uh, start to push back at you. Ensure meeting the deadlines and delivery. You need to ensure that. You have completed your required work uh, within the timeline that has been agreed. Uh, if you delay work, there is always a negative feedback involved for you 
and once it's there it's very difficult to survive in freelancing industry because your portfolio is majorly impacted by the feedback that you have received until and unless you have a good job success road uh, or uh, good review uh, it's very unlikely that you are going to get a new job keep learning new skill uh, there will be some skill on demand today there will be some skill on demand tomorrow things will change rapidly or constantly so you need to move forward uh, at the same speed as well if you have already uh, learned a skill set and you are doing job don't be relaxed saying that okay that's it i can keep on earning with that skill set you never know tomorrow that might uh, skill set might not be required in the industry so you need to look forward to learn new uh, skill and always move forward that's it from uh, my end if you have any further question you can uh, comment uh, the below and uh, then i can answer you uh, thank you for watching the video and happy freelancing thank you very much